so many of you are first time blogger attendees. Welcome to LA. Vaginas are basically my bread and butter. I can't make it through a day without getting 10 pitch emails for different menstrual products or lube or pelvic floor exercises. So sometimes I forget that these body parts are actually still somewhat taboo and stigmatized, uh, which is dumb. Alrighty, so I just had a Temp Short Envy um, treatment done, and it's basically, they did it on the top part of my face in my forehead region, and what lovely Barb did here was administer heat and radio, radio frequency. Actually, you'd be much smarter to tell about this than I am. We treated her forehead. Um, region here with some radio frequency for uh, five minutes in each zone for lifting and this beautiful glow that she's got oh yeah gorgeous face. <laughs> thank you so much it didn't hurt at all it just felt like a warm massage honestly and um, Barb was saying that it is something that you would need to kind of put in your beauty routine about once a month ideally and um, it's great for fine lines wrinkles kind of a brow lift and I'm in, I'm in my 30s y'all so these are things I'm thinking about but it was wonderful wonderful yeah. service thank you so yeah, much you're welcome thank you I think we have a believer <laughs> yeah. okay I'm, I don't know if you can hear me or not but I'm back in the main room at Blogger Health. I've got my seat. Um, the next talk up is going to be with Alyssa Milano. And I know for a fact she's going to talk about um, her experience in the Me Too movement. And I'm just really blown away by the openness of this conference. They've talked about sexual health, sexual, sexual, sexual pleasure, excuse me, um, preventative contraceptives. Um, emergency contraception, um, you know, body image, wellness, mental health, mental illness. Um, it's been amazing. And the way that it started was um, I was diagnosed with endometriosis and PCOS um, when I was 20. And I went undiagnosed for a really long time. And I lost my first baby at that age and continued to miscarry. I am in LA traffic, headed home. It's only about 3.30, um, but the traffic starts evidently about 2.30. And the two hour drive home will take about three hours, if not a little more. But I was gonna be staying in LA this evening, but I got out of the conference really early and my body is just kind of, kind of wearing out on me. And the chairs were really uncomfortable. That's not their fault. They're just wooden chairs. Um, it was a very accessible event, which was great. The chairs had no arms, which was great. Um, but my body hurts really bad, and it was just a lot of walking. Um, like, I walked over a mile just when it came to getting to and from the event. Um, and y'all are literally just placed on my dashboard right now. I apologize if you're shaky. Um, I'll be able to tell during editing better, but... The event was great. Um, I really, really loved how open um, the dialogue was allowed to be and how, I don't wanna say controversial the topics were because that implies that like 
these things shouldn't really be talked about or anything. They absolutely should. Um, but they were not afraid to talk about hot button issues like access to abortion, um, access to emergency contraceptives, access to sex education and um, <clears throat> pregnancy preventatives, um, to talk about sexual assault, to talk about um, depression and mental illness, anxiety, um, PCOS, like everything under the sun. And you know, there were celebrities like Alyssa Milano and Jamie King and a bunch of really high um, caliber influencers and it was just really refreshing to be in a room that was wellness focused, but did not at any point ever the whole day, did not talk about weight loss, did not talk, did not have what I considered to be anything fat phobic. It, it was really nice. Um, now, what I will say is that there was one plus size person on stage all day. Um, and it was a moderator. Um, none of the guests that were asked to speak were plus size. I mean, these are things that people like me notice. Um, and other plus size people in the room, which there weren't many compared to straight size people. But it's just, you know, things that we, un pardon me, unconsciously notice that, you know, the people asked to be centered at these events and the people asked to speak, you know, on these subjects, nobody looks like you. Um, but there were lots of um, women of color, um, though it was really awesome. Alyssa Milano talked about um, using her white privilege to amplify and um, bolster women of color around her and to use her platform to, you know, really be a megaphone for issues like systematic racism, you know, the um, anti-choice debate, all of that kind of stuff. But uh, please don't think I'm being unsafe. Like, as you can see, I'm going, I'm either stit still or I might be going two miles an hour, maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was an awesome event. The sponsors were great. I loved that there was a huge company like Vagisil there that was talking about things like sexual pleasure and sexual health and um, completely open companies like FedEx. FedEx was one of the sponsors and they were they were on the same panel as people talking about sexual assault and I mean and it was just awesome um, and so that was really great. Um, it does bum me out when my body kind of not gives out, that's very dramatic. My body is, does not feel like it's like gave out today, but I'm just so fucking tired. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm so tired. Um, it doesn't help that I didn't sleep well last night and uh, it doesn't help that I'm just a chronically fatigued person. But you know, I am so happy to have gone and to now have seen and to met so many people from the vendors. And now there are especially a couple vendors that I want to reach out to directly saying, hey, I was at this event and I saw this and I really liked what you had to say about this and such and such and oh man, that's gonna be great. And going to these kinds of things and showing my availability to come to LA will help me as an influencer. But I don't really know what I'm blabbing about, but um, yeah, the food was great. They did awesome on food and had so many different options and they had in uh, Lemonade catered. Lemonade is um, a really, really great restaurant in LA and it was delicious and lots of snacks. Like I said, um, there, oh, sorry. When you hear that, it's my car telling me that like something is near the parameter of my car but I don't know why it's doing that because there's nothing near the perimeter of my car but yeah so like I said it's gonna be about a three hour ride home I think I'm just gonna put back on the Michelle Obama audiobook and just kind of take in the scenery it's of course it's beautiful I'm gonna hit sunset on the way home so it's really nice to see sunrise coming in and sunset going out but yeah, yeah, 
Um, I'll definitely wrap up when I get home. But I just wanted to kind of give y'all an idea of what today looked like and just kind of, you know, an average bloggy event that happens. But yeah, awesome. Well, I will talk to y'all later on. I apologize about the change in quality. I'm on my phone for whatever reason. I don't have my camera with me. I thought I did, but Jeff and I decided to come to this random mall in, uh, where, where do we live? San Diego. El oh, it's in El Cajon. Okay. And because we wanted to go to the FYE that's here, because there's not a whole lot in the area. Is that the only one in the area? Yep. This is why. He really wanted to get uh, this classic album. It sounds like that. <laughs> but there was an Ulta here, so I grabbed a couple things there. And then there was this really cool store called Minoso. Yeah. Minoso. No, Miniso. And it's almost kind of like Daiso, but not. A little more expensive. Like everything was 15, 20 bucks and under. Um, but I think I have enough. I'm going to do a haul. And this is going to conclude the vlog that I started yesterday at the event. And that will be going up tomorrow, which is Sunday for, for y'all. And as of right now, I'm really going to try for... Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday videos. And then Tuesday will be a mod cloth haul. And Thursday will be a um, get ready with me, I hope. And so, oh, maybe I could do this and mod cloth. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching my vlog. Kind of a weekend vlog. Kind of an event vlog. But I just appreciate everyone watching. And I really hope that you'll subscribe and um, follow my other social media. But thanks so much. We'll see you later. Bye. Ugh.